Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazy. The Reapers are calling a general retreat. They're trying to escape off of the planet. They're also enacting a scorched earth policy. The Night Gods have learned that there's some locals that are being held prisoner in a nearby facility. So they're going to head over there and try and liberate them before anything bad can happen. Alright, so here we are approaching the facility. Looks like we've got... Stormcrow? Yep, looks like a Stormcrow up ahead. Um, there's a support land. So this is a three skull recovery mission against Clan Star Adder. Now I'm hoping that it looks like there's going to be two lances, def two lances defending, most likely uh, reinforcements as well. So there's eight of us here, um, yeah, and I switched up who's piloting what mech. So we've got Giant in the Stormcrow with the uh, MRM 30 right now. Let's move him up. Uh, let's sprint up here. I've also done some changes, like just minor, okay. minor tweaks to the Stop mechs. Um, Blade's old um, Stormcrow that he was running with the PPC, uh, the two LRM-5s, the LRM-10, and the ER small, that's been changed to uh, three clan LRM-5s and two ER large lasers, so here it is here. It's able to fully sink the heat, and we've got um, the long-range um, optic systems on this guy. So with with the um, sniper sense, what does he got now? Um, fire control system predator, which gives him bonus at long range for all his weapons. He's also got the tracker sensors for giving a bonus range at all at distance. The optics, as you can see, he can see a good distance around him. So blade is like is going to be the guy that we're going to be using for pinpointing at a distance. Um, or one of the guys. Let's get him up here. Already there. I'm hoping this works out a little better. Okay, we got a shot in this guy already. So, I mean, it is first turn. So, I do have a wide variety of ammo that I put on here as well. So, we've got chaff, EMP, standard, and incendiary. There's enough of all of it. So, um, uh, I can shoot for quite a, quite a while. But because it's got three LRM-5s, I can switch between them. So, one can be firing EMP, one can be firing chaff, one can be firing incendiary. You know, and um, just mix it up. On the targets, I'm just going to shoot straight out just to get a little bit of damage in. Hold off on the warlord for next turn. Go. Let this guy know we know he's there. The reason why I dropped the PPC um, was I was able to to gain a little bit of weight that way. Um, plus, adding the two ER larges for pinpoint damage, I think, is a little better than the single PPC. We only we only dropped a ER small and uh, like a, a five tube of LRMs in order to get that second uh, big laser in there. So I kind of prefer that. Quick heavy long range firepower before we close with the enemy is is going to become real crucial when we're facing heavier mechs. So as much as that we can get of that earlier on, I think the better. Because now, like, like the enemy is going to have limited amount of that they can put throw at us early. So hopefully, we can put a lot of damage in before we get get close to them. At least that's the thought, anyway. Let's see what this mad got dog can do here. Let's get into here. Actually, can we get a solid? Can't get a solid line. Okay, let's move him over here. So that's pretty good. It's comparable to the uh, storm crow. We've only got cluster on this, right? Yeah. No sweat. Hey, stay in the crosshairs. It was just I couldn't get any other weapons in there that were going to be like relatively no heat, so the LBX5 just worked out well. Good to go. Paired with the PPCs, it's actually not bad, you know. Okay, you need to get in close, so we'll move you up. So the no, this Nova, I believe, got an optic system as well. Pretty sure. Like I said, I was able to do minor tweaks to a lot of the things. I didn't realize the vulture was running with no um, waiting for orders with no headgear, so we had no electronics or anything like bolt on bolt on anything, and it was just empty. So I put a couple of bolt on incendiaries on it. So even we, we have an incendiary thirty rocket uh, set up now. We'll just waste the ERs on this guy. Can get a light shot on him. Great. If not. Ah, oh, we've got three points. So yeah, so now he's got a pair of bolt-on incendiaries that we can use when we need to. 
Uh, you're slow, so let's move up as fast as we can. I noticed in a couple of my offline plays, this mech staying back and just shooting can get itself into a bad position uh, when we need it up front and it's just not there. That's a big issue. And you can already see here, like, the difference in the chances to hit with this mech compared to the other ones is already a better chance. You can see landing, which is nice. Excellent. I did consider pulling the two MRMs off this and putting, like, and pulling the PPC and putting three ER large lasers on it, but I just couldn't sink the heat. Yes, Commander. Even with the, um, even with the, uh, where can we put you? I don't think you're going to get it. You're not even going to see this guy. We need an optic system for this mech. It's got the short range targeting optics, so it's just not going to see anything. Yeah. Unfortunately. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, but the three ER large lasers and the two LRM-20s, I just can't sink the heat. It's just way too hot. So, well, at least this gives us a free turn to move in. Let's go in the open here. Alright, there we can spot the enemies now. Griffin, Stormcrow, Timberwolf, uh, Talon. Is it just one lance? It said support lance. I wonder if there's a second lance that I can't see here. Or maybe that this is the support lance. I don't know. Uh, where do we want to go? Let's go in the trees. Acknowledged. The Nova up to here because it's a little slower. Stormcrow. Trees. Nova. Let's get you up as far as we can get you. In coordinates. This isn't too bad for a 60 ton mech, this movement here. Moving to position. The Vulture. Talos, as far as we can get you. Confirmed. And you. We need to scout fairly well here. Oh, yeah, we got another mech back there. It's an adder, it looks like. Moving to position. See if we can get more sensors on. Anything? No, nope. so we got one here. So there is this Kit Fox. Yeah, so there's we know there's ten We know they've got ten. What's up boss? All right, we're gonna walk it up to this guy You're relatively fast so no put problem. you there Got somebody else back here Bad Katha, okay That's not a bad chance to hit um, you're going on 21. How good are we here? So we got 19. Okay, so this guy's going to shoot before a lot of us. So let's switch this up a bit here. Going to go to chaff, and we're going to go to EMP on this guy. And we'll leave some standard on him, and we'll just fire. 50%'s not bad, I guess. Uh, let's warlord it. We might as well. And firing. Targeting for an nice. Chaff's on. Mag pulse is on. Nice thing about the mag pulse too is it also does affect the uh, ability to sink heat. So rather than firing incendiary at somebody, like if we know we're going to overheat them, I can use the uh, mag pulse on them with all three launchers. And then we can use the incendiaries from the vulture and the... Uh, um, and the, uh, what's it called here, the Talos, to be able to heat them up. Alright, Rose. Um, who else do we have going? What can I do for you? You. Let's not fire through everybody. Let's go back to Rose. I'm receiving you. Let's just not fire through people. Let's just not copacetic. Alright, get into here. Moving out. He's under partial covers too, so it's a little harder to hit him. So if we look... Enemy effects 1, so it's probably... Uh, probably come some kind of ECM. Obstructed plus 2, yeah, target move plus 4. Move self, enemy effects. Medium range. Eh. 
It's fine. Still not a bad chance to hit. Both large lasers hit. Nice. At least with that stability, maybe he'll he'll back up and try and restabilize himself. Plus, he's lost about a third, well, a quarter of his armor so far. All right, let's just. On you, Commander. That's a solid line, but that's actually not that bad. It still puts us a little bit out of. I'm gonna take the shot though. Puts us a little bit out of the way. Puts us out of play a little bit because we were a little slower, but I, I don't think I can pass up this nice shot here, so we're going to take that. Ooh, I'm glad I did. ATM yeah, down. Hit. He should back up now. He's lost half his weapons. Oh, he's also lost initiative too. Should I go with this guy and just fucking kill him? I'm receiving you. Let's save the big guns ammo. Let's go with you first. So not bad. Uh, so he did lose his torso. I mean, we could... You know what? Let's just shoot him. We're going to get lots well, of parts out of this. Let's clear this guy out of the way, then we can be more selective afterwards. We'll be more so we'll be just a lot more selective after this. Okay, you can go no stay in the open. We're only gonna fire the PPC, I think. So let's just go oh he's almost cored. Let's see if we can get him to bail. I have no idea where I hit him, but it wasn't the CT. Yes, it was. Never mind. I take it back. Receiving you. I take it back. All right, we don't have to worry about him. We're gonna get him with the uh, the bandit. So let's get up here. Deny them a little space. Get some guns on up here. And let's start on the Talon. We can drop the uh, standard ammo on the Talon here. Firing on target. Or not. It's fine. Commander. Okay, um I wanna get you down into here. Then we'll just do this. We'll use the ER, go after his CT. Let's see how you like this. And of course not get it. That hit something. Oh, he bailed out. Perfect. Sure, you can make him bail out with a friggin' couple of ATMs. Oh man, that I wish that recording the last episode had finished. Cause that killing that uh that timber wolf with a um the tag was just I couldn't stop laughing. It was just so brilliant. We were shot at it with so many mechs trying to take its leg off, aye, aye. and we couldn't get a leg. We couldn't. We could not peel the leg off that thing, no matter what we did. And then uh, I thought, well, I'll just fire the tag and see if that does it. Sure enough, he bails out when he gets hit with a tag. It's like, okay, I'm out of here. So, so yeah, we changed the pilot up on on the Talos too. I had, uh, I can't remember who I had on there. We got Polcat on there now. She does have the ability to, um... Reporting. Minimal damage. She's got the control burst ability to, uh, reduce jam chance on the, uh, autocannons and stuff, so... And reduce recoil. So that should help out with the two AC-5s, pirate AC-5s, because they've got high recoil. Ready to get it on. Alright, now, um... Do I- I think I want to come through here. Or do I? That's the Kit Fox. That's- there's an archer back here, okay. Do I try and take this hill and control it? Or do we sweep through here? I just don't know. I think the rest of the, their guys are probably back here. I don't want to get flanked. 
Um, it's got such a wide variety of speed now too, right? There was that. Oh, there it is. There. Let's get you up here. Double time. Let's go. Might as well get Chaff and EMP on this guy. Mess up his sensors. Yeah, see? Already it's like... It's showing its uh, advantage here. We're having both of these guys. I cop. Too bad we can only hit with one of them. Okay. Waiting for orders. You might be giant. Right, you don't have the range. So let's just get you here. Stay a little bit away from the fire. So hopefully it doesn't burn the hex that you're in. Get set up. We're going to go through the valley, I think. We're going to push the base and just take it. Just push their faces straight in. Okay. Showing minor damage. I want to see if we can pick up some more ATMs too. I'd rather have like I'd rather put a pair of ATMs on this guy, like a couple of ATM nines or something. Because with the large lasers, this really is like a more like a medium range brawling mech than it is anything. So let's go after this guy. Fourteen, huh? What about the archer? I don't think the archer moved. Twelve. Eighteen. Yeah, this is a really a direct fire mech. Still 12. Two mediums and a PPC. So two peeps, two pulse lasers, and two LRM-15s. Kit Fox has got an Ultra 10. Ooh, that would be nice. Streaks, LRM-20, medium pulses. That's actually a really good loadout. We got the best chance in the Griffin. We got to kill everybody. So this is probably two LRM fives and a PPC, or two SRM sixes and a PPC. Let's do a bit of damage to that guy. Let him know we know he's there. Whoever decides to show themselves first is just going to get smashed. Looks like it's going to be you. Thanks for being fodder. Thank you for being fodder. Orders. Uh, do we want to scout? I do. I'm interested to know if this, um... Oh, it's 50% Star Rider. Okay, so they got seven guys. Ah well, no big deal. No big deal, they got six guys now. Alright. Um, yeah, sure. It's hoping for more. But we get what we get. Okay. Got something you want done? I do. A little bit of fire support, please. Not the best chance to hit on this guy. ATM's not bad, though. Uh, let's use the sensor lock. Got a sensor lock. No evasion unchanged, eh? I wonder if he avoid. Oh, you know what? He's got that skill that uh, his um, his uh, evasion pips are immune to sensor lock. That's what it is. Wow, your structure's exposed already? It's not good for you. I hear ya! Okay, le monsieur Hotwire. Let's go here. I'm gonna put both, uh... Max speed, no the Vulture and the, um... 
the Mad Dog. I, I keep wanting to call the Mad Dog the Vulture, too. We're going to put both of them up here, I think. Let's go after this guy. Not the best chance to hit, but... Not the best Commander. chance. Moving out. Don't really care about this guy, so let's go with standard ammo. Two lasers. And we're okay with this for now. Let's just fire. Nice. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, I'm not minding this this that's uh, jammed. I'm not minding this AC loadout that much. I need to get another upper recoil um, reduction for the upper armor of that thing. I've got one, which is why the one Damage weapon does flight. has a much better, better chance to hit. It reduces the recoil by one and gives you plus one accuracy, so this guy's dead. Thanks for showing up to the party, Richter. Uh, yeah. Say goodnight. That's how we do things downtown. And then he was gone. <laughs> it's just smoke, and then he just it's not there. <laughs> All right. I wonder. I uh, we might be able to take this uh, archer out with the uh, bandit. We still got five and a half turns of uh, HE firing, which I think should be more than enough to burrow a hole in the back of that archer. All right, Blade. Standing by. Um. We have a turn before our mechs are into play, so let's get over here. Hightailing it. We're just going to stay down the hill a little bit. We're not going to crest just yet. Yeah, we got a bit of time. We got like mm, at least two turns before these guys are ready to go. Let's just pot shot this guy again. Oh, he's got two approved ATMs. And a pair of light PPCs. That's act okay, we want that. So let's keep him um Sander is a waste of time. Put some more EMP on him. Locked on. Just make it hard for him to target people. Look at the evasion on this guy. <laughs> what is that, seven? Fire away. That's seven. Ready for orders. Um, you might as well just go through the fire. It doesn't really matter. Ooh. Does it? Let's go here. Double time. The guy's loadout's pretty good, but I think we're okay to receive that blast if we have to. Uh, yeah, like zero. We ran through the flames and we're still zero heat here. Uh, firing. Locking target. Join the fire, buddy. I like that heat. The EMP that we dropped on him should reduce his chance to uh, sink a lot of that heat too. This guy's out of position. Hope I was hoping to get him in, but maybe we can. Yes, commander. Because the timber wolf is like out of position now too. Uh, let's not chance it. We've got this match, so um, I don't want to go through the spores. Damn it! Okay, right here. Spores are pretty good for like, like um, giving you um, like the enemy set like a harder chance to hit, but you also get take increased damage if they do hit. And if you're fighting talented enemies, the spores are just like, just you're just asking to die. At least that's the way I feel. I just try to avoid them at all cost. I mean, I guess in the original battle tech, it's probably good. Waiting on you, Commander. To go through them when you can. Metal to the metal. But, you know. Ready for orders. Okay, let's get you over here. Roger. 
And drop some standard ammo on this guy. The more we hit him, wow, well, we missed. The more we hit him, the uh, higher chance he has of becoming unstable. Awaiting orders. Let's see what we can do from here. Move. So the Talos didn't have a double heatsink kit in it before. It does now. I don't know why I didn't put one in before. I can't remember if I just didn't have one or didn't have enough heat sinks when I was first putting it together. But I most certainly do now, so... Um, you're not hot at all. Let's just shoot you. Yeah. Missed. Yeah, it's fine. That's alright. How far can we get you? That's not bad. And let's give our guy over here a little better chance to hit. Put some narc on this guy. Yep, landed it. Okay, who's going next? Oh, you. Alright, you chose a different target, but you didn't fire the ATMs. That's interesting. Whatever it's got to do with heat. Might. It might. Yeah, you're making it difficult for me to get a shot on you, aren't you? Not without revealing myself to the enemy. I know I'm going through the spore cloud here, but... We got lots of armor for this guy. Plus, I can get the hell out of here really fast. So let's just take a back shot. Wow, that was terrible. That was terrible. Who's up? Yes, Commander. All right, let's get this Babcat out of the way. We've got a side shot on him, so let's move up. Roger I'm just going to walk it up. Got our Warlord back. Let's take that. That's a push. And forcing me to tab to it. That's not the guy I want. No. 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 Yep. See, that's and that's a uh, that's an offensive push. Look at the chance to hit. I'm so glad I made the change to this mech. It's so much better now. Um I'm going to switch to standard. Where do we go to incendiary? Now, standard's fine. Firing a full salvo. Okay, now he's unsettled. I'm your spaniel. I wonder if we use you to shut up that other guy. That Ultra 10 is friggin' annoying. It's only 30% though. Way better on this guy. Um, really, it all comes down to range. Okay, we're going to step here. How much resolve we got? A fair bit. Nah, I don't know. Let's not... No, nah, let's go with the incendiaries. Should have worded it beforehand. Puts us at 30 now, so it's not too bad. I mean, it's only incendiaries, so... Okay, a few leg hits there. Really splashing all over the place, though. Plus 32 heat, though. That's sweet. Don't worry, buddy. You'll get yours. Oh, is that your target? Is that who you want to shoot for? She know who the danger is. He's trying to strip some armor off before that thing crests the hill. He's like, shit! What can I do for that you? That guy's gonna crash any second. 
Ooh. There's a good chance right there. Warlord. Straight up shoot this guy. Ooh, good night. Gotcha. Don't know what happened there. Got the torso, but I don't know. I didn't read if it destroyed the engine or what it, what happened there. I don't think that was a pirate version, so it has to have an Omni engine, which means Minor it shouldn't have gone down. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. I'm here. All right, Rosie the Rose, we're free to target our guy over here. Beautiful. Coordinates received. All right, let's warlord this and get this guy. Yeah, we should be able to, hopefully, get that leg. I want to leave the LRMs on. Might as well. Her clustering's not too, too bad. Okay, well, that was a leg shot there. That's an arm hit, I think. Armor torso. Okay, stressed out. How are we doing with leg? I don't know. Griffin? Ooh, okay, you got SRMs. Ha! Send me a real opponent. Don't tempt fate. How many times do I gotta tell everybody? Orders. You're part of my unit. You know better than to tempt fate. Moving to position. What happens to pilots that tempt fate? They die horribly. They can thoroughly blame it on me, too. Take that. Ooh, the ATM's not a nice chance to hit. Alright, let's hope we get that leg. There it is. ATM took two crits. Bail out, bail out. Come on, buddy. Okay, our bandit can move on to somebody else now. Receiving you. Yeah, you don't need to be there now. Um, who's up? That's the storm crow. I want to get the... That's a back shot for them, though. I want to get the griffin. That's going to be like seven chevrons of evasion right there. Alright, I'm going to push my luck. We're going to push it. I want to see what we're capable of with this thing. So we got six chevrons. That's not bad. Backstrike! Think I hit something good. Yeah, I want two more of these. That'll be a nightmare. Like, imagine three of those against the salt mechs. Like, can you imagine that? That would just be brutal. Okay, you need to go after the storm crow. Don't really want parts from that guy. So we're going to go this route. He is a warm build. So let's make sure he stays warm. Let's go control burst. I'm interested to see what recoil wise. That doesn't really change much. A little bit, but not much. Alright, firing. So he's narked. Wow, plus 53. I feel good. That that was nice. That was a nice hit. Alright, now let's see if we can get Standing by. you. Can we walk around? Not enough. Oh, wait. I take that back. Copy that. So if you don't know, uh, shift... Left shift, I believe. Um, that's the one I'm using. Allows you to uh, do waypoints for when you're walking. Let's go all this. Controlled bursts. Reduce the recoil slightly. Not bad. And here it comes. Alright, not as much as I wanted, but... Fair enough. Out of SRM. Enough so that if he decides to fire next turn, he's uh, going to shut himself down, most likely. Now, what are you up to? Slows all his weapons. He's going to moonwalk, it looks like. Yep. 
did fire the ATMs. Alright, let's do this. Waiting for orders. Let's not expose to the other guys. The Let him fire at the vulture. And since Blade is like pretty good pinpoint knife fighter, let's go after this other leg. 50% chance, that's not bad, considering Fire. that guy moved. Damn. Did you just see his st stability drop tremendously? Probably left over from the, uh, standing up. Yeah, you run. You run. I'm ready. You're running from a friggin' hovercraft. Okay, we should move. Nope, let's not give the Timberwolf a shot at us. That's not gonna give us good range though. You know what? Let's just back it up. We're gonna we're gonna pepper him with the incendiaries. Actually we're not. We're gonna shoot this guy. Gonna use the regular ammo on him. Better chance to hit. Too much splash, too much potential for um, blowing up components we don't want to with this guy. This guy really is a, like a, a close range brawler, so he's out of his element in this battle. Oh, you decided to shoot, did you? Look at that. You didn't shut down, though. I hear you. So this puts you on the wrong side. We've already taken that leg, but it does put you in a good position to finish up this guy. Roger, Commander. I've got the shot. Not quite. Standing by. All right, Rosie. You don't even need to move. That's iffy, but we're gonna take it. Ten four. Come on, bail out. Yeah. Standing by. Let's put a sensor lock on. I know it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm only doing it because uh, I'm going after that with the vulture this turn. Um, let's try again. Leg firing. Okay, not bad damage. I think we probably hit that leg. Yeah, we did. Okay. It's getting there. All right, got one PPC on him. Oh, fuck, you're dead, buddy. All right, I don't need to target you then. Target this guy. Yeah, he's got Valiance, okay. Bail out? Ah, he's not gonna bail out. Not gonna bail out. All right. Well, I was gonna target that uh, Timberwolf, but this guy doesn't want to shut down on his own. Maybe we can help him out. There you go. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's so good. Alright, do we try for the archer's leg? Or do we go after this guy who's just like standing? St I think we go after this guy. So, he shut down. We got way more damage. With the standard ammo now. Holy crap, 75 damage. T our, uh, Fist of Doran kept telling me that that's the way to go. And it totally, look at that. Let's try and take this leg. All right, Polecat. There it is. And the 20 heat. 40 heat, or 39 heat anyway. To boot. Yeah, those pirate AC5s, man, in the right situation. They're deadly as hell, eh? They're, they're way better than, well, I don't say way better than a PPC, but 
It'll do the same damage as a Clan ER PPC. A little bit more weight, but that's fine. And you got to carry ammo with it, but you're you're uh, you're adding heat to the damage too, right? So, all right, let's just walk. This is our fight to lose at this point. I think if they were going to get reinforcements, they probably would have shown up by now. Or they might show up when we activate the base. I don't know. Um, going this route. That's the leg. There it is. Good salvage. One more for the kill board. Huh, Radical Compact Heatsink Kit is not nominal. Orders. All right, who's get, who gets it first? Uh, what don't we want? Because this guy's going to delete something. Let's just delete Onward. the uh, the Griffin. Maybe we won't delete him. Let's go up to this leg. Yeah, see, we got to be in close with this guy to be functional. He's out of his element in this battle. I'm glad I pulled Blade off this mech, though. He really needed to be in the double uh, like ER laser that? mech. Okay, you too. Same guy. Same guy. Same bat time. Same bat channel. Yeah. Scored a critical hit. Ah, beautiful. That worked out well. All right, time for your revenge. Think you can take this guy's leg? We have enough. I think so. If we hit it. Oh fuck. Really? Critical hit, Commander. Yeah, thanks for that. What was that? Oh, this guy exploded. That guy exploded. Commander? Alright, Rosie the Rose. Yeah, she was the one that that failed to take the timber wolf down. And the mission that we, uh, that, the last mission that, uh, ended badly, because I couldn't, never got the recording. Had the 99% chance to hit, and I couldn't hit the leg. I was hitting everywhere but the leg. Ah, yeah, well, just... Taking the shot. Just shoot him with a tag and hope he bails out. Alright, what do we do now? What did you... Oh, Christ, this guy's almost... Yeah. That should do it. Not gonna waste my time trying to pull legs off that. But I will... Off of this guy. Move order received. Good chances to hit. Do we try and plank the head? How much has he got left in the CT? Yeah, let's go for the leg. Taking a shot. Play it smart. Crap, that all went to the CT, didn't it? Fucking god damn it! Who's who had? Oh, I took the tag off the mech. Damn it! Aye, aye. I had a tag on the Stormcrow. This guy, Blades Mac with the PPC. I took it off. Maybe we can convince this guy to bail out. Do we go all in? That's 150 damage. It's a little much. That's what, 120? That's got 148. Well, forget it. We're either going to kill him or we're not. Oh, he bailed. All right, there you go. That's it. Let's take this base. See if we got reinforcements. The last time I did one like this, they jumped right on top of me. All right, let's just keep it sprinted. Uh, 
here. Who's this? Okay, get out of the heat. I'm there. Okay, you can go all the way in, so let's get you in there. I copy. Vulture, trees. Yep, yeah, I see that, thanks. And then you to here. Roger that. Just turn you around. The asset has been secured. And, and that's it. Ready for retrieval. Okay, nice. I was really hoping for more than the Lance and a half of Defenders. We lost like 200,000 off this, so hopefully we can get some half decent salvage. Just looking for targeting computers and the like. I don't know what else there's what else there might be here. I mean, we could take mech parts, but I think I'm at a point now where I'm pretty good with what we have. There's another Timberwolf part. If we get it, great. So an ATM-9, uh, let's grab that. ERPPCs, we've still got a bunch. Oh, IATM-12s. So what's the difference? Two evasion pips ignored as the difference of one. Three chance to cluster. Uh, no clustering. This is a streak launcher. Oh, these are streaks. Well, that's interesting as hell. 600 meter range. Right, it depends on the ammo, right? I'm going to grab both of those. So do we have... What do we got for LRM-20s? Wow, we got six clan LRM-20s, really? No 15s. SRM-6 Ultra 10. I'm going to drop that in. Okay, extreme range, long range, battle computers. That's a possibility. Um, these are really nice too, though. Ah, and we need C-bills. Let's drop this. And let's grab this. We've already got an advanced fire control system. You know what? I have to grab C-bills at this point. Because I need money to put those other mechs together. Oh, we need improved ATM ammo. Damn it. Ah. Sixty shots, so that's five turns of firing. Per ton. That would mean I'd have to like just take the ATMs. Do I do it? You know what? I don't come across these all that often. So I think if they're in... If I want to use them... I think we go with that. We just take it. Ultras 10s come up half decent. Sensor trackers come up half decent. Yeah, I mean, let's see what we get. I think that's... Yeah, I'm just going to go for gear. All right, we've got the archer part. Griffin parts, which we can sell. Kit Fox part can go. Stormcrow part, not bad. Two Talon parts, that can go. ERPPC, so that's nice. The regular PPC can go. Armor can go. Case, we will hold on to. Actually, you know what? We're going to get rid of it because we got, we're using clan stuff all the time. So, uh, Engine core. Yeah, ah, I need C-bills. Just going to sell it. We're going to keep that, though. Lower arm, we got a bunch of these still, so we're okay. Advanced jammer sensors. Yeah, I've got better sensors than that. Structure can go, the improved ATMs, and half ton of that can go. Okay. So, I mean, that's okay. I feel pretty good about that. We made it, we'll, we'll make some C bills off the parts. Yeah, so I was just thinking as we we're loading back in here, either we're going to go. Those improved ATMs, I'm thinking that maybe we strip the no this Nova here. Um not that one. That's the uh that's Rose's Nova, the other one. With the um ATM nine, two ER mediums and the Ultra Five. Put the and build a uh build this around an improved a, um IATM build or improved ATM build. And then take the stuff that's on this guy and put it on one of these two. Cause I don't think the Nova's got some okay speed to it. I mean, maybe it's... Maybe we put it on the Stormcrow because it's faster. 
and take the MRM-30 off of that and maybe put it on one of these guys. And we, we do a mix between the Nova C and the, and the Stormcrow D. We make these two brawlers. Make this the improved ATM build. Because it's got more speed, it can get in closer faster. Then the Nova can be like, you know, ER mediums, clan pulses, and maybe the, the ATM-9. I don't know. So I have a couple of brawlers. Yeah, I gotta think about it. Or maybe, I don't know. It just depends on how much weight we're gonna have on these guys to, to load stuff out. And then I gotta figure out what we're doing with the Hellbringer. This I wanna do like an LBX build. Like if we can get an LBX-20 at some point. I don't wanna face an LBX-20, but if we can get one, that'd be nice. Like if a vehicle had LBX-20 or something, we could put it in here. But I mean, the other idea is to go with the, uh, the AC-20 that we have. I gotta think about that too, but I, I, I'd, I'd like to hear your suggestions in the in the comment section down below. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Till next time, we'll see you later.